Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another box here from Monthly Knife Club. This is the April 2019 Onyx box. So we're going to dig into this. I think, you know, based on the size, probably going to be a folding knife. But uh, we're going to check it out here. We got a, a ZT that we're going to, this is the 0350, to open it up with. And we are going to see exactly what we get this month. Um, I think with shipping it ends up being 124. So here's our monthly knife club sheet. And then these are the different levels, right? So we're all the way down here at the bottom with the Onyx plans. We got the Kaiser. It's S35VN. That's very common with one of the, you know some of the more premium uh, Kaiser knives. Titanium. Now it says it's the Intrepid or Lancer 2. I really hope it's not the Lancer 2 because I've already got a Lancer 2 uh, in a previous box. And the value there is 180 to 255. Um, this is interesting. I've never seen this before where it says, or you get the DPX Gear Lion Steel made Hest 2 Assault Gray, which is 150 to 225 bucks. So I, uh, if you haven't seen these reviews before, I like that they give you the range of values that you can find online, not just the MSRP. And there's the coupon code if you want to use that. So have at it. If you want to sign up for a monthly knife club, there you go, you get 10% off. So I'm gonna pull the Kaiser box out. So if you haven't bought a Kaiser before, they usually come in really nice packaging that's always the same kind of box. Um, and then inside you have some another box and then inside the, the second box you have uh, a little bag so let's see what we got let's see here on the end uh, it's the Kaiser Intrepid okay good well it's not the Lancer 2 so that's hey it's something I don't have so happy with that and we will try it these boxes are always so hard to open um, there's like not a good way to get into I I've, I've broken broken several of them um, trying to trying to get them out but uh, there we go jeez it's that the inside box is so tight in the outside box so here's our very nice packaging for, from Kaiser and there's our Kaiser bag within the box so very cool and then unzip it. We should have a cleaning cloth in here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. There's our knife. Do we get a cleaning cloth? Ah. That sucks. Oh, there it is. It's down here. Duh. There's our cleaning cloth. It says Kaiser on it. Very nice. So usually that's in the bag, but okay. Whatever. Move the very nice packaging off to the side. And we will pull out our Kaiser knife. Maybe if we can get the dang tape undone there. Okay, so there we go. There is the Kaiser Intrepid. So, um, first thing right off the bat, I got scuffs on this thing. I don't know if that'll wipe off or not. It does not. So not real pleased with that. I don't know if that just happened in shipping or that happened during the assembly process, but um, that bothers me. I mean, I know through wear and you know just use, it probably scuff up some of the titanium there, but shouldn't be right out of the box like that. So I may be contacting Monthly Knife Club about that. Um, so not good. Okay, um, we do have some nice blue anodized hardware there, all Torx bits, and the nice Kaiser pivot, and same same style on the other side. You do have hardened steel insert there for the frame lock. So we got a frame lock knife. Um, pretty uh, clean looking pocket clip and I assume that is also titanium 
it's not exactly deep carry, but it's pretty close. I mean, you're going to have from there up sticking out of your pocket. Not a huge deal. Um, I think we might actually use our cleaning cloth here because that blade is pretty dirty. Probably just uh, a little bit of oil from shipping. Uh, no thumb studs. We got flipper only. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty light. Um, you know, the titanium is what's going to keep it nice and light. It does have a, a little bit of heft to it just because it's got a fairly good sized blade there. Um, centering is pretty perfect. And then there you got the designer. It's a little dirty. But let's go ahead and do first flip on this guy. Ooh. So that happens sometimes. That sometimes the first first flip out it's just not broken in. There we go. Now we got it. So it is on bearings as our I think it's every Kaiser I've ever gotten in the monthly knife club is on bearings has S35 VN steel and has titanium handles. So there you go. Nice nice looking backspacer. And then that's that's new. We got a made in China sticker on there on the blade. I don't want that on there. Because that looks stupid. So we are gonna pull that out. Well, it came off in pieces here. Alright, I might have to get some alcohol or something to get the rest of that sticky stuff off. There's our uh, intrepid main. And then you just have the Kaiser logo and then the model number and then the blade steel. So uh all in all, pretty good there. And that blade, man, even with the cleaning cloth, just, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, it's almost like that oil or whatever it shipped in is just kind of baked on there. I guess it comes off with my thumb there. But pretty dirty, pretty dirty looking. Okay, so the blade is... Um, Kind of a light stone wash finish there. You do have a, a saber grind with a drop point and a nice wedge here at the top. There's no jimping on the spine. Um, feels pretty good in the hand. Um, you do have, uh, you know, the, the flipper comes out and basically forms a finger guard there on the other side, as do many flippers. But um, action on it's pretty nice with the bearings so uh, yeah I like the look of the, the handle other than the scuffing but I think just based on the fact that it came out of the box scuffed um, this is going to show some some wear pretty quickly and you might like that if you like to have a little character in your knives or you might like to keep yours looking brand new and that's going to bother you so just be aware of that 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 finish is going to wear pretty quickly but uh, you know it does have a nice nice flipper action you can do push button or you can do light switch so either way you like it and this action is getting smoother as I uh, flip it out here so yeah and you know like I said it feels pretty good in the hand um, you, know, you can choke up on it a little bit here with that thumb ramp on the back but um, yeah pretty nice knife I don't get as excited uh, about the Kaisers anymore just because I feel like uh, the Onyx box frequently uses Kaiser knives so this even though it's, it's a very nice knife, um, you know, 180 to 255 bucks. We'll see. I'll put it in the in the video here if I can find it cheaper. Probably can, but we'll see. But I'm a little disappointed with how it came out of the box. Um, you know, being all dirty and scuffed. I mean, it almost looks like uh, this was one of their scratch and dent models or something, and they just threw it in here for the monthly knife club so i don't know not not real happy about that it is you know pretty nicely balanced 
um, the handle keeps it nice and, and light. So, all right, let's see, uh, let's see if we can get a piece of paper. Get some printer paper and we'll see how she cuts. Usually Kaiser's come razor sharp, but yeah, this one's no, no different. So yeah, she's cutting nice, cutting nice. Yeah, okay, no problems there. No problems there. Let's get uh, let's get a piece of printer paper, or I mean, uh, whatever magazine paper. We got another Bud K magazine here, and let's just cut this page since we got it. Yeah. Nice. I can get it to start here without bending the page. There we go. Yeah, nice. Have a little trouble getting it started because I keep bending the bending the page over. There we go. I can just hold it right. I'm not like an idiot. There you go. So very sharp. Nice, nice and slicey, like you'd like. Um, nice and Nice and light. So overall, um, I mean, I like the knife. It's just not something I get super excited about anymore with the Kaisers. I feel like a lot of these higher end Kaisers are very similar. You know, they use the same materials, uh, slightly different blade styles, but they're all pretty much very similar sizes. Um, usually a frame lock. So I don't know. It's It's nice. It's just not super interesting to me. So anyways, there you go guys. This is the Onyx box for April 2019 and we'll stop here. Thanks for watching.